Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought that I would do um, sort of cut up segments of my makeup routine just because I know it can be really long watching like a 20, 25, 30 minute video. So um, I'm just gonna go step by step today. I really felt like using um, Tarte. So I'm gonna be going over a couple Tarte products. What I'm loving. So let's start out with Tarte Double Duty base tape okay this literally smells like a tropical vacation it's fantastic so i just squeeze a little bit out onto my hand and let's just rub that in oh my gosh you guys i mean it smells so good like i mean i literally feel like i'm on vacation right now in mexico which i feel like everybody needs a little vacation right now with everything that's going on in the world. Um, so this is so moisturizing. It smells amazing, like fantastic product. I'm in love. Okay. So next on to a, they found concealer and it says it's a multitasking foundation. It's got 20 SPF of sunscreen. Now I use Zeo Skin Health and that also has sunscreen in it. So I'm gonna be double protected girl. Um, so what color am I? I am 22B light beige. So there's a couple different ways you can apply this. Um, I'm gonna go back and forth. I'm gonna use a little beauty blender sponge. Um, and we are gonna just start covering up all this redness. I think that the biggest thing to remember is just to bounce this out. Bounce, bounce, bounce. So you already see that that redness is starting to go away. Hold on, let's see my nose. You guys will really see a transformation. I don't know why my nose is so red today. So I just do small amounts and just tap it in. Bounce it in, I should say, really. So... What I love about this product is, as you guys can probably see, it's so hydrating that I literally feel like my skin has a glow to it. Now, my forehead has been really dry lately, so I do not like want to go too, too overboard because I feel like the more you bounce over your forehead, like the drier it gets. I don't know. You guys tell me. I've put like a thousand moisturizing products on. No, not that many, but yeah. So I'm going to leave the forehead alone. I'm not going to do anything else there, but I mean, like, look at the difference already. So I'm just bouncing and I'm even going over my upper eyelid. Really get around my nose. So just small, tiny amounts, and then just bounce. My ears are so red. I have um, started putting foundation on my ears as well because I was like, oh, I've taken all this redness away from my face, and then I've just like left my ears alone, and I think that it looks really, really weird. So, like, I'll show you guys. So, I'm not going to go back over my face with this now because I'm using it on my ears. So, let's not be gross Um, because I need to wash it now. But, like, look how red my ears were. And now they're actually going to blend in with my face. Okay. What do you guys think? Um. Okay. So next product that I'm going to use is, oh, I almost dropped it on the floor. Okay. So Tarte Double Duty. This is their shape tape. I like to mix two colors. So I like to mix 12B Fair Beige with 20B Light. And I'm going to show you guys how I do that. So I literally screw the cap off of both of them, have them ready in my hands. And then what I do is 
I just go really lightly. Tell me if you guys have ever seen this technique before or if I just like made it up or did I just claim it as my own because I watched somebody else do it and I forgot. I don't know. Like, let's be honest. So anyways, I just blotted along there and ooh, let's get a Jeffree Star little tiny beauty blender. Look how cute and little this is. It's his collab with Morphe, sorry. I always do a shout out to Jeffree Star in some way during my videos. I love him. Okay, so look how it lightened up my under eye. I mean, girl looked tired before. So I have found that this combination is the best combination for me for brightening and covering up. And I am literally just bouncing this along. That's all I'm doing, I'm bouncing, I'm not rubbing. If you rub, I feel like it starts to look really cakey and you do not want cakey, especially underneath your eyes. So we have covered up all those sunspots. They might be age spots. I'll keep lying to myself and telling myself they're sunspots. Okay, so I feel like my face looks really hydrated, really fresh. Um, I am going to use one product of Jeffrey's for this video. It is his setting powder. It's just in the translucent. It smells so good. I can't even tell you guys. I think it smells like cotton candy. So I'm just gonna bounce that in underneath, really get that all set up. So I'm like literally just taking this really super tiny sponge and blotting that underneath. Just do whatever feels right on the amount. I do love this teeny tiny sponge. At first I was like, it's so tiny. What am I going to use it for? Girl, it has come in so handy and you actually get two in the package. So it's like totally worth it. Okay, so I told you guys I would break this up. So this is going to be the end of this video. Think of it as the tart video. That's what I'm going to post it as is the tart video. Um, and... I did sneak Jeffree Star in there, but I will continue on with the rest of my makeup and go over everything with you guys. Thanks for watching.